Hi guys and welcome to Lovely Lady Cakes TV. It's me, Chef Anna, and today I'm gonna make you guys a fall treat. I mean, autumn is in the air and I keep going to the grocery store and I see all these yummy peeps on the aisles and everything. So I'm gonna make you guys some homemade marshmallows and we're gonna pipe them into ghosts for halloween -y this year. Okay, let's get started. To begin these yummy homemade marshmallows, we need two packets of gelatin. You can find this at your grocery store, or you also might see them in sheets, so you can use two sheets as well. Go ahead and put the two packets inside your KitchenAid bowl. So next we're gonna take one cup of cold water and we're pouring it inside the KitchenAid bowl into the gelatin. Now, we don't mix it, we don't do anything, we just pour it right on top because this is called blooming. We're blooming our gelatin. So now we just set this off to the side so it will bloom. Okay, so now while we let that do its thing over there, we're gonna break out the saucepan. We're going to add two cups of granulated sugar in this, one cup of your light corn syrup, and again, we're making candy, guys, so this is very dangerous. Be very careful. Um, you want the sugar and everything to come up to a softball stage this time. It's 240 degrees, and the best way to find out is using your candy thermometer or go ahead and use your meat thermometer. So while you're waiting for your sugar to reach softball stage, let's prep our trays. What I have done is do some powdered sugar on the bottom. Then I'm gonna lay my parchment paper, or I have wax paper here, right on down, and then another good hearty layer of powdered sugar. We do this because we don't want our marshmallows to stick, and it'll be a lot easier when we plop them out and cut them out into fun little square shapes. Ooh, it's ready, let's go guys. So now it's time to put everything together. I have my bloom gelatin. It's going on my KitchenAid. We're gonna use our paddle attachment and then our softball sugar stage over here. We're drizzling into the gelatin slowly, very slowly. And I want you to know that this is very dangerous. It's very hot. It's like candy hot. And um, we're going to gradually turn on the um, KitchenAid because we don't want it to splash in our face. So very slowly while it's turning. So I have it on a low speed right now, but we want to gradually increase the speed and it will double in volume and look like white fluffy marshmallows soon. It could take like 10 to 15 to 30 minutes, you never know, so be patient. You can almost hear that slapping of it against the sides of the bowl when you know it's starting to get there. It's looking good. Ooh, look at that guys. This is the time we're gonna add two tablespoons of vanilla extract. I like a lot of vanilla. And as well, since Halloween's coming, you can dye this right now, maybe orange or black. And uh, I'm gonna pipe it as well and make little ghosts and little squares. I'll show you. Ooh, it's like marshmallow fluff. Okay, so I'm gonna put it in a piping bag and I'm gonna pipe little ghosts for you guys. An arm, ooh, and then a head, another arm. So now I'm gonna just take the rest of my marshmallow fluffy goodness and put it in my tray that I have powdered sugared. And the trick to getting to smooth it out is just put your little spatula in some water. Now just take a little more powdered sugar and powder it on top so there will be no crusty coat that happens. Oh. 
Okay, so I just dusted them with some powdered sugar, and now we need to let them sit out at room temperature for a good 12 to 24 hours, really when you're ready to cut these into squares or eat them. Mm. Oh, hey guys, you caught me. I was decorating our little ghost that we piped out earlier. All I'm doing is just taking black food coloring and taking a little toothpick, or I have a fun chopstick, and painting eyes on them. But now let's cut out our cubed marshmallows that we put in our tray, I'll show you. So next we're gonna cut our marshmallows, super easy. I'm going to powder sugar a surface down and then plop out the marshmallows. Pull off the wax paper or parchment paper that you have. And then to make squares, I found using a pizza cutter helps really well, or you guys can use a knife. Um, and if it starts to stick, just stick it in some water and then it won't stick so much. But then as well, you can find some cookie cutters and maybe cut out some cute little shapes. So what I did was just wet my cookie cutter so when it cut into the marshmallow it would just slide right on in and then I peeled it off and then I dumped it in a little bit of um, powdered sugar. Or if you want it to be like a peep, wet it a little bit and then add your sanding sugar. You can color regular sugar any color and it tastes like peeps then. It's a fun little ghost. Now it's time to eat our creation. What do you think, Sweeney? Mmm. Have a bite. Want some more? Oh! <laughs> this is so good, guys. The vanilla, I like a lot of vanilla in mine, and it just tastes very gourmet. I love it. Please like and favorite this video, and I'll see you next time for the next Lovely Lady Cakes videos. and welcome to this week's Cake Talk. Last week, I asked you guys to leave me a caption of me, this picture. Isn't that cute? It was really good cotton candy. Who shaved Santa's beard and dyed it pink, said K Bunny of Bull 2. And Verily 2012 said, OMG, this looks like uh, Elfie's hair off the Hunger Games. 34 Sunglasses says, oh no, a tornado's coming, watch out! And this Cake Talk caption was left on my Facebook page. She says, OMG, it looks so big. If I eat all of that, would I be sick? And I can't do the next baking video. Thanks, Chantepeg. <laughs> Thanks, guys, so much for rocking the Facebook page with all these really rad pictures. Check them out, we got. Check out these really cool raspberry lemon meringue cupcakes. Thanks, Adrian. Ooh, this looks like a chocolate cream puff. Thanks, Zebelit. Is that an M&M cake? OMG, get in my belly. And this week's question, what are you gonna dress up for Halloween? Leave me your comments, I can't wait to read who you're gonna be for Halloween. I'll see you next time for Cake Talk, bye-bye. <laughs>